Okay, we're here this afternoon with Mickey Haig. Uh, Mickey is in charge of the corporate tent here at the Scottsdale Arabian Horse Show, and Mickey's a dear friend of mine and has, has been involved with the Scottsdale Show for many years. She's also presently the chairman of the Youth Commission, National Youth Commission, and puts on the Youth National Show in Albuquerque in July. And I uh, wanted Mickey to just talk about uh, how long she's been involved. I told her a second ago that the first year I judged Scottsdale was 1978, but as we were talking, I found out she has a lot longer history than I have. Mickey? Well, as a, a youngster, I rode my horse upon the very first All-Arabian Horse Show held at the Arizona Biltmore, and I was just flabbergasted when I saw these gorgeous creatures with these huge black eyes. Made up my mind then and there, I had to have one. And my mother thought I had lost it. But eventually, I got a gelding and then a mare, and it went from there. And today I have 14 head at my farm in Ireland. I think that's unique. And yeah, Mickey comes all the way over from Ireland. How long have you been in Ireland now? Four years, uh, and it's just great horse country. I love it. Uh, beautiful grasses for the horses. And it's just, it's a pure pleasure to keep the horses there, and they're enjoying it as well. <laughs> Mickey's also an international judge. She's judged in the United States. She judges in Ireland. Uh, you, have you judged other breeds other than Arabians? Oh, I've judged in Ireland. I have judged American Quarter Horses, American Paints, Appaloosas, Western Shows. They are big on cowboys over there. Everybody wants to have a cowboy hat and a Western saddle in Ireland. And I've also judged in Brazil and Australia, as well as Alaska, Canada, and 29 of our 50 states. So I feel very privileged, and the breed has showed me a lot and taught me a lot. Well, I think that's great, and it shows how accomplished you are. And I know you're a very accomplished horsewoman, and it's kind of fun because every year we uh, go through this debate because I have... Irish heritage myself and Mickey was kind enough to do a family tree for me and my wife says no I'm an Englishman but Mickey has proved that I'm an Irishman and now that I heard about the cowboy hat and some boots I'm I'm going to get to over there and visit you Mickey. How many uh, commercial exhibitors do you have at this show roughly? We have 46 corporate sponsors here that we take care of particularly in this tent many of whom are commercial exhibitors as well and some of our uh, breeders and exhibitors also have corporate sponsorships, and we're very grateful to them for their efforts in support of the show. Now, are the people that we see in these exhibit buildings, are they're not corporate, but they are, are exhibitors at the show as far as selling wares, but they, do they have access to this tent also? No, only the corporate sponsors, uh, many of whom do have their commercial booths there, but a lot of those people just come for the sales that they generate from their wares, whatever it may be. There's artists, jewelers, you name it, we have everything here. People with beautiful clothing, leather goods, saddles, tack, um, and many of them are just here as commercial exhibitors. But our special ones are the corporate sponsors. They help us do what we do here best, and that is to support charities. Yeah, talk a little bit about the charity that you, you donate to and, and uh, what kind of monies you generate. Well, the Cox Charities uh, are the primary one, and it's over $100,000 every year. We started, when I was president of the club back in the 80s, we started doing over $100,000 a year and feel that it's a very important thing to give back to the community and the community does support the show. They come out, as you will see, people come with their children and their grandmas and their grandpas and everybody has a great time. And it's like a big happy reunion every year and we enjoy seeing them. Great, I think that's really good, Mickey. And thank you for spending some time with us. And I think we've got a pretty good idea of, uh, of what you do. Are there some name corporate people that you could maybe mention for us? Well, all of them. Uh, Southwest Airlines is a huge one, and we appreciate theirs, especially along with Cox Charities. Uh, gee, there's just so many from the artistic flower people uh, right on through to the tent people who supply the tents and, and uh, are with us and help us keep them up if the wind gets bad and those sort of things. We don't want to mention that, but it happens. 
Um, so it's it, they're all important to us, and they all do a service that we can't live without. I appreciate that, and, and I understand there's approximately 2,600 horses here this year, and this is the largest show so far, correct? Well, from what they tell me, that's, that's true. Yeah, it's about 15 more than we had in 1985, which at that point had been the largest. So a great number of horses. Uh, they're beautiful. They're well-schooled, and I think people would really enjoy coming out to see them. Thank you, Mickey, and we'll look forward to seeing you later in the year. I hope to be at the U.S. Nationals. Mickey and her commission do a great job, and that's our future in the breed. And how many horses do you have at Youth Nationals? Last year we had 1,208, but you have to remember every one of those horses had to qualify to get there, which means they had to have won in their local areas, and then they come together annually in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thank you, Mickey. I think that'll wrap up what we wanted to talk about. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule today, and I like your the excellent food in here for your corporate sponsor. and. And Mickey's been kind enough to let me have a little what I call my office in the back, my little table. And I come in every morning, we have a little visit, and I steal a donut and have a cup of coffee. So it works out real well. Thanks, Mick. Thank you, Bill.